Welcome back. We are here on Ethereum looking at the cryptocurrency market, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Wednesday, uh, December 30th, 2020. If you like supporting the channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon, where you can get access to our full technical analysis, our signal service, and our online trades and courses. The, the link is down below, and you are welcome. So, We'll start by looking at Bitcoin, and as you can see, we rallied uh, to all the way up towards uh, 28,352. That is the all-time highs for Bitcoin, and since then, we're basically uh, pulled back a little bit, and now we're quite in the limbo. We've been trading at 26,600 for basically the last three days. We've been up and down in this um, area here. So the one hour chart doesn't explain a whole lot. I think you have to look at the, uh, the weekly chart and basically understand where we are in Bitcoin at this point. If we look at the daily chart, they, we are, of course, significantly overbought. Technical indicators are turning around. For example, the stochastic is turning around. This is a warning sign. The CCI is above 100, so 116. So it's still bullish, but it is basically turning around here as well. The MACD usually turns around later on, but we are well above zero and it is very bullish. But if we go and look at the weekly chart, so we can see that things change here. So the RSI in the weekly chart is still 91. That is a very, very, very high. The last time we were at 91 was back here. I think we were here as well when you we basically fell. So. The thing is that when we get to 90, 91, 92 in the weekly chart in the, for Bitcoin, it tends to basically fall apart. That's what happened here. That's what happened here and so on. So to buy it at this point, that is a massive, massive gamble. If you look at the Bollinger Band, for example, for, for Bitcoin, you will see that we are still outside of the Bollinger Band here. What I expect at this point is that we'll have a massive pullback towards the 20,000 level. Something, some kind of news will basically trigger this because we're so over, overstretched at this point that that usually is the thing that happens. You get some kind of news that just pulls this apart. I'm not saying that we're going to drop all the way down to the 200 moving average, uh, which we did back in 2017, 2018. But a massive pullback from here, that is very, very likely. When it will occur, I don't really know, but 91 is basically the red button or has been the red button for Bitcoin for a really, very long time. So we can see just here, here, you can check the RSI for, for those periods and you'll see what basically happens and you also see that we were way outside of the bullish band in both cases when we basically fell significantly so back in 27 we fell in one week it fell by 50 percent so that's what we're talking about if we fall by 50 percent no i don't think we'll fall by 50 percent i think we could fall towards the 20,000. that is the previous highs here that's where we basically took off but it could also take several weeks in order to get to that level. We'll probably, we could see something that is gradually down and not just completely fall apart because it's not as volatile as it was uh, back in those days. So at this point, no interest basically of buying this. I know people are screaming that we're going to 30,000. Yeah, that is plausible. That only means that the fall will be significantly harder like significantly harder. If you get to 30,000, I would not be surprised if we have a fall of 15,000. So just keep that in mind. But at this point, I expect a pullback towards 20,000. The 20 exponential moving average will travel this way. And when that occurs, that is a basically a major buying opportunity. 20,000 is also the previous highs back in 2000. And 17. So it would make sense that we fall back to that level and then go higher. So let's look at Etron. So we are going to look at the daily chart. 
So as you can see, we are also well above the Bollinger Band here in each room in the, in, the, in the daily chart. We rallied significantly yesterday, broke down significantly today towards at 681 and then rallied a little bit today. So this is what I expect also what is going to happen in Bitcoin. We're going to see a massive uh, breakdown, probably rally again, breakdown, rally again, and then just go gradually lower towards the 20 uh, exponential moving average. If you look at technical indicators for Ethereum for, for the daily chart, they are still very bullish, most of them. CCI and Stochastic are turning around, while the MACD and no CCI and the RSI are turning around, while the Stochastic and MACD are still bullish at this point. We are well uh, above the Bollinger Band, and this is the basically warning signal. You can see what basically happened here when we were um, above the top of the Bollinger Band. We broke all the way down to the 50 moving average. Here, also above the Bollinger Band, broke down towards the middle of the of the Bollinger Band, and the same goes for here, broke down. So it is a warning that when you get this overstretched, you can see it also here, it basically tends to pull back very, very, very aggressively. So I'm no interest in basically buying at this uh, at this point. Uh, shorting that, shorting this would basically make sense. Uh, the target would be first of all the 20 moving average is 620, 28, and probably the 50 moving average at 567. And therefore, and after that, you can start buying this again because we are in an uptrend and. It is expected to go significantly higher uh, because people are using uh, probably not Ethereum, but uh, but Bitcoin as a safe haven uh, instead of gold. Uh, well, for some reason. So hope you find this helpful. Uh, you're welcome to support the channel by subscribing. Hit the like button, the bell button to uh, to uh, see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much. Thank you.